This is a quick demo to show you the new publishing system uh, that works with Skydive Designer, the app, and Skydive Designer.app, the website. Um, what it lets you do is upload your jumps and make collections of jumps uh, and then share them either with the whole world or with specific groups. Um, so once you've shared with everybody, it can be seen on Skydive Designer, click on the jumps, and here's a whole bunch of jumps, mostly ones that I have shared. Um, and the goal here is to create a repository of cool jumps that people can reuse um, and can play with, um, as well as just some fun of creating some classic designs. So I've put out a 400 way world record and a two point complete break and so on. Um, we can then make collections. Um, so here is a, a collection a collection of classic big way jumps. Um, and you can see we can even kind of change the points uh, within this jump, or I can view it full size uh, to go in and uh, see the points. And um, here's a collection that Paul Needy put together for a boogie. Uh, and he was able to share these jumps with his team um, before they met for the weekend, so they knew what they were going to do. Um, and these can even be slotted. So if I show the slots now, see where everyone is, and the list of names and places is down here. So people can show up uh, to a weekend knowing what they're going to do. So let's show how you do this. So firing up Skydive Designer, uh, let's create a new document, big round. And let's make this incredibly simple. That is my 50 way big round. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's make them a little bit wider so they've got their grips. Um, okay. So I logged in already, but I'm gonna log out and log in again um, on the sharing page now. So update jumps, log in to Skydive Designer. Um, this pops up the website, click to get started and either create a new account uh, or sign in. Obviously I've created an account already so I'm just going to click to sign in. So I'm logged in and it's picked up. I've got multiple teams. I'm just going to upload this into the Rob Johnson team. Um, but teams are a fantastic way of organizing work. So um, you could have a team of organizers for an event um, or here I'm just helping some of the early users um, set up their jumps. Um, here's, here's the jump I'm working on. Click upload and file upload. Click manage and publish and it opens it up in the web page. Um, so this is what we call a file. Um, it's just simply a, a jump design. Um, I can turn that into a jump which is publishable by adding some extra information. Uh, so I want to give credit here. Credit is me. Uh, decide how public or private I want it. Private means only I can see it. Unlisted, anyone with the link can see it. Public, it goes into the public collection. I'll leave this unlisted. I like the grounds. This description stage can have images uh, and it can have quite rich text. So uh, we're just going you know, big on big rounds here. And then this is the file that we're using here. Uh, I can show slots and I can show the roster. I haven't got those on this jump, so there's no need there. If I had a YouTube video of us building this, um, then I could add that link in as well. So let's create this jump. This is now available. Anyone who has this link, which I'll copy, can now go and see that jump. And uh, you can see it's uploaded by me and it's got that little piece of information in there. And people can now download this if they've got the app and they can play with it. Once I've got a jump, I can make a collection. So let's make a new collection. So Rob's Boogie. And uh, lots of rounds. So let's add a jump, um, big round. And let's create that collection. It's kind of small collection at the moment, just the one jump. So let's go and add another jump. So first of all, we need to 
add the file and this time instead of uploading it from the app I'm going to pick the file directly from my file system uh, so where did I put it here we go so I've got a 50 way donut here let's load that I need to publish this as well uh, so credit Rob again I'm keeping it unlisted still um, build this and let's create that so if I now go to my collections Rob's boogie edit Rob's boogie add another jump and add the donut and update this collection um, so this collection is private I'm gonna make it unlisted this now means that anyone with this link which I copy here can see this jump so I can send this out to the jumpers who are coming for my weekend event and they can see what's going on now if I had let's add another jump to this collection um, so my collection Rob's boogie edit this I'm gonna add a jump that um, has some fake slots on it this is world record complete break um, update this this one is shown as show slots and show roster um, so when people view this they can come in and they can see all the slots where they are you could do this differently though uh, so I'm going to remove this jump so going to my boogie going to remove world record complete break update the collection and I'm going to go back to my files because at this stage I haven't completed my slotting um, and I want people to see the design but I don't want them to be slotted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that file and um, I'm going to create a new jump from it so there we go we go to the jumps now create a new jump and this is going to be a world record so unlisted and I'm going to use the world record complete break but this time I'm not going to have show slots and I'm not going to have show, show roster uh, so credit for this was Scratcher Games team So this has got a little X by show slots show roster. If I go back to my collection, I can edit the collection and I can add world record unslotted. Update collection. Um, and now when I share this collection with people, uh, which I think was on this page, here we go they'll see this and if they go to view the jump uh, they'll see it and they can see the design but there's no slots for them to see and that's the reason why jumps and files or well, one of the reasons why jumps and files are separate so that you can create a separate jump uh, which doesn't show uh, slot information um, and one that does that you might be sharing with your organizers that's it I think so we now have a collection, uh, Rob's Boogie, uh, which we can view, and I can share this link, and I can send that out to uh, everyone who's coming to my event. Um, I hope you will upload your jumps, and I hope you'll share them. Um, I think this should make a great repository so that when I'm stuck organizing uh, 17 ways sometime in the future, I can just click through, find great 17 ways, and um, I'll have something ready to work with. Thank you very much.